Good evening to everybody. And of course, the related events as well. You have seen so many failures. You have failed, you have brought on, and here you are. So what can you guide me on? Thanks. Thank you. Deep question from the beginning, good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Um, what? <laughs> Failure. I used to I used to do sales coaching. Uh, I, I worked for UNICEF and Oxfam, where I had uh, guys that I, I took on and I coached them. I used to I used to make a bet with my uh, manager, where I said I can take anyone and make them into a good sales guy. And, and the one thing, the first thing I told them is, um, I I don't care if you get sales. I care how many failures you've got. Because the difference between me and you is how many failures I have under my belt. Um, I did. I went into door to door because it was the most intense. And um, I think the story before it is better. So I was very shy, like most people now. Nowadays, it's apparently a very common thing that a lot of people are shy. Maybe it's because of our society. Um, I don't. I don't really care. I just know that. People can become better. I truly believe that if you just focus on your skills and just go and do it, you'll become better at one point, and you'll become this new person. So, I uh, I was very shy. I I didn't have parents to back me up. So I was, I just had I was in university, and I was in university. I skipped uh, one year. So I was in university at 17 years old, right? So people, um, I, I didn't really have rights, and suddenly I didn't have any parents as well. Uh, because of familial issues, we didn't have any contact anymore. And I was uh, sitting there and, and thinking, OK, I don't have any social skills. Where do I go now? Um, I didn't have any backup, so it was pretty much live under a bridge or, or just go and do stuff. Um, I didn't know how to become social. And many people, and it's the reason why I love ISEC, I, I didn't discover it back then, only years later when it got better. Uh, and ISEC gives you this opportunity, first of all. It makes you social. I see people come in, and, and a year later, it's, it's crazy. It's so fast how it goes. They're like speaking in public and like, hey, how are you doing? Hey, have you did, did you do this roll call and stuff like that? So I like, I like ISEC, but I didn't have ISEC at the time. So what I did is, uh, I don't share this story with a lot of people, but I used to go outside and approach people on, on the streets. Uh, this is before Salem. This is before I was anything. I was just a 17-year-old kid. And uh, I, I just went and I approached, because I read somewhere in a book, oh yeah, you just go out and you, you just talk to people, and, and you start with asking them the time, and and you go and you build from there a conversation and so on and so on. And um, I remember um, I was scared to ask the time to a stranger because I was standing there and there's like a stranger passing, right? And I'm like, okay, okay, just a second. And then I go, oh, no, they passed. Okay, next one, next one. And it, this would happen like days in, days out. And I just had this conviction. I don't want to end up under a bridge. I don't know why I was thinking ending up under a bridge. Obviously, you don't end up under a bridge. But in my mind, it was, if I don't learn this skill, I will end up under a bridge. Nobody will support me. Nobody will love me. So um, one day. It, it's happening, it's happening, and, and we have, in the residence I live in, we have a piano room. And uh, always when I came back from this whole journey, I would go through, like it's like a garage thing, and you have the piano room, and then I would go up to my room. And um, suddenly I used to play piano, and, and I hadn't done it for years. And suddenly I just wanted to go play piano, right? And I can tell you, I failed so much that at the end, when I was actually social, I could play the Ninth Symphony of Beethoven <laughs> fully. Um, a full release, completely, like not the ones that get learn, and uh, many other songs. I, I used to love scores. So it was really brutal. And piano at that time was something that 
chilled me down because I was full of adrenaline coming back. It was like, oh, and, and just played piano and just calmed me down. So I think you just have to find something to, to calm me down. But then I got into sales and, and all of it, and uh, recently my mentor told me this. Uh, the larger you grow, the more it stinks. Um, I will say something big, which maybe you guys can relate to, but um, at the time it was just approaching a, a stranger, right? Like asking for the time. At this point, I'm, I'm asking for sales that are maybe 5,000 to 15,000 euros. And let's assume you have this meeting, everything's going super well, super well, super well. You think, oh my god, this is the next big thing, like 10,000 euros is going to come in my pocket, it's going to be so awesome. And then it falls through in the last moment. And oh my god, do I sulk then. It's like night that I sit. It, for me, I, I've descended it down to three days now. So three days where I just, I'm like, ah, oh, Jesus, why? And I'm like super negative, I, I don't know why. So my mentor told me, it doesn't get better. It really doesn't. Um, the, the larger you grow, the larger your failures are gonna be. The only thing you can control, however, is how long this time period is. So you can train this time period of how long. So my mentor does it now in 40 minutes, he says. So this is where I'm growing towards, right? Three days to 40 minutes. It takes a while, it, it doesn't get better. But what does get better is, and this is what I taught the salespeople, is you don't really get immune to it, but you get the good ones you remember. You don't remember, you don't really remember your failures. I don't remember the failures I had a year ago. I remember the ones that I, when I started my journey, obviously, but I don't remember the ones, uh, like, I, I remember I was a year ago at Bell's, the conference you saw in the video. Uh, but I, I remember I lost a sale or something like that. It was a 3,000 euro sale, where I, at the time, it was a huge sum for me. And I thought, oh my god, this is the end of the world. Like, and I'm in this conference wasting my time. Uh, and I came back and I made an even bigger sale. So, um, and, and what you remember is not that failure. You remember the success that follows further. And, and then what happened with me, and this is the reason why I can endure, um, in the opening plenary, I was a bit nervous, right? And then at one point, it clicked cake. And, and when I do sales, the same thing. When I do business, the same thing. What is this click? It's experience. At one point, a click came that you guys are just a home group, but a little bit bigger. And I've sat in front of many home groups with many people. And always the feedback was good, and always the people liked me somehow, even though I was like, oh my god, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. I just put my heart and soul into the content and assumed that it would be enough. And, and usually it was. And this click came that you guys are just my home group. I have a bigger room, obviously, so the posters have to be bigger. But it's the same. And this click came and, and I'm less nervous now. So I'm focusing on the successes. When I do sales, the same thing, right? I go door to door and, and I think, um, at the time, I, I, this is like not to hype everything up, but I, I broke the national sales record when I was like going uh, for, for the sales stuff. And every time I go door to door now, or every time I'm failing in my business, I'm thinking, oh my God, where's the next sale gonna be? What am I gonna eat next, next month? Um, I just think, okay, you broke the national sales record. Don't be such a pussy, like, let's go on. And I say it gives you this experience, right? It gives you this experience to fail in comfort. Um, where I can tell you in business, the first thing you'll think is, oh my god, I failed. Where's my next month's food going to be? How am I going to pay my rent? So I say it gives you the safe space. And this is the reason why I love it, right? So I think that might answer your question. Okay. Thank you. Right. Someone else?